Let us now consider the microscopic features of peripheral nerves. I'm grateful to Professor Michael Hodge of University of Michigan Medical School for providing the images of histology sections used in this video. Peripheral nerves include all the spinal and cranial nerves and their branches. They consist of bundles of nerve fibers, both afferent and different, both myelinated and non-myelinated, surrounded by connective tissue coverings and supporting cells. In a cross-section of peripheral nerves seen in this image, we are seeing multiple nerve fascicles or nerve bundles. Epineurium covers the entire nerve. It also fills the space between the fascicles. It is made up of dense irregular connective tissue. Perineurium covers individual nerve fascicles. It consists of specialized connective tissue made of alternating layers of flattened polygonal cells and collagen. These flattened polygonal cells form tight junctions with adjacent cells contributing to the blood nerve barrier. Endoneurium is the intrafascicular connective tissue which covers individual nerve fibers and endoneurial vessels. It cannot be seen distinctly in the routine histology sections. Here we are seeing cross section of a nerve fascicle showing the surrounding covering layer that is the perineurium and cut sections of multiple nerve fibers or the Schwann cell axon units. The nerve fibers may vary in their function, conduction velocity and diameter. The Schwann cell axon unit within the fascicles are made of central axon surrounded by myelin space and covered by neurilemmal sheath. We can also see occasional Schwann cell nuclei. This is a longitudinal section of the peripheral nerve showing epineurium and perineurium and fascicles of longitudinally running nerve fibers. Longitudinal section of a peripheral nerve fascicle in a magnified view is showing multiple longitudinally running nerve fibers and nuclei of Schwann cells. Here we are seeing a Schwann cell axon unit in a longitudinal section showing an axon surrounded by myelin space and covered by the neurilemmal sheath. We can also see a node of Ranvier as well as the nucleus of a Schwann cell. Optic nerve or the second cranial nerve differs in its structure from other peripheral nerves. It's made up of more than a million myelinated nerve fibers, which are the axons of ganglion cells of retina. Optic nerve is the link between diencephalon and its diverticulum that is optic vesicle and hence it is more apt to be considered as a tract rather than a peripheral nerve. Therefore, unlike the other peripheral nerves, optic nerve is covered by the same three layers of meninges as the central nervous system, that is, from outside inwards, the dura mater, arachnoid mater, and the pia mater. Although the classic arrangement of fascicles surrounded by sheath of perineurium is absent in the optic nerve, the pia sends in septa that divides the myelinated nerve fibers into multiple bundles and the characteristic feature of the optic nerve is the presence of central artery of retina and central vein of retina at the center of the nerve. So quickly recalling what we have seen so far, peripheral nerves consist of bundles of nerve fibers, both afferent and different, both myelinated and non-myelinated. Individual Schwann cell axon units are made up of a central axon surrounded by myelin space and covered by neurilemma with occasional nucleus of Schwann cell. Each nerve fiber is covered by endoneurium. The fascicles are covered by perineurium and the entire nerve is covered by epineurium. Optic nerve differs from other peripheral nerves in being covered by the meninges and by the presence of 
central artery and vein of retina at its center. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can also visit this site for similar histology videos.